हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एग्जाम ट्रिक्स इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी टॉक्ड अबाउट गंगा रिवर सिस्टम एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द पेनसुलर रिवर सिस्टम एंड आई विल बी क्रिएटिंग अ प्ले लिस्ट फॉर यू सो दैट यू कैन व्यू ऑल द वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू ड्रेनेज सिस्टम नाउ लेट एस हैव क्विक फैक्ट्स रिलेटेड टू द पेनसुलर रिवर सिस्टम पेनसुलर रिवर सिस्टम आर मच ओल्डर दैन द हिमालयन रिवर सिस्टम एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द रिवर्स ओरिजिनेट इन वेस्टर्न घाट्स एंड वेस्टर्न घाट्स एक्ट एज अ मेन वाटर डिवाइड इन द पेनसुलर इंडिया विच कॉजेज दीज रिवर्स टू डिस्चार्ज दियर वाटर इन टू द बे ऑफ बंगाल मोस्ट ऑफ द मेजर रिवर्स ऑफ द पेनसुलर लाइक द गोदावरी द कृष्णा एंड द कावेरी राइज इन द वेस्टर्न घाट्स एंड फ्लो ईस्ट वार्ड इन टू द बे ऑफ बंगाल However there are two except exceptions Narmada and Tapi which flow into the uh, Rift Valley and they drain into Arabian Sea and in between the course many small rivulets also join them while all these rivers like Godavari Krishna Kaveri which uh, drains their water into Bay of Bengal they form delta before falling into the sea why they form delta because of the slope they become slow and they shed most of their sediments before falling into the bay of bengal while narmada and tapi which flow into the rift valley they do not form delta they form estuaries these are two important facts which will which you have to keep in mind before moving further i would suggest you to have a close look at the map and understand all the rivers originating from western ghats and draining into the bay of bengal and the these two rivers narmada and tapi which drain into the arabian sea trick to remember the facts related to geography is that always keep a map in front of you whenever you are reading regard anything regarding um, physical features or something like that now moving away ahead Uh, we will be discussing all of the major important rivers of the peninsular river system and first among them is river mahanadi mahanadi river rises in the highlands of chatisgarh mainly sivaha district of uh, raipur in chatisgarh and it flows through odisha into the bay of bengal and in throughout its course it drains parts of madhya pradesh chatisgarh and odisha now um, when question related to rivers come two things are important first where it uh, arises where it originates and second the which part which state does it drain what are the basin of these rivers by applying simple common sense you can remember the facts related to uh, this river if you know the origin of this river which is chatisgarh then you can simply apply the mind that if it originates in chatisgarh it must be draining madhya pradesh and if it drains into bay of bengal then it must uh, cross through the state which uh, is along the bay of bengal so you can um, find that geography is not all about facts but also some simple common sense the second most important river is ri river godavari godavari river is the largest peninsular river It rises from the eastern slopes of the Western Ghats in the Nashik district of Maharashtra, and it has the largest drainage basin among the peninsular river, and that is why it is also known as Dakshin Ganga because of its length and the area it covers. It um, drains nearly fifty percent of the Maharashtra, while it also crosses through Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Odisha, and Andhra Pradesh. its three important and large tributaries are pranahita and the pen ganga and the indravati so important facts related to river godavari is that it rises in nashik district of maharashtra it drains large basin of uh, maharashtra and crosses through maharashtra madhya pradesh chatisgarh odisha and andhra pradesh it has three major tributaries that is pranahita pen ganga and the indravati Another important river is River Krishna. Krishna River rises from a spring near Mahabaleshwar, Maharashtra, in the Western Ghats. Now you can see that uh, we have read about two rivers originating in Maharashtra. First, we read uh, about Godavari, and the second river is River Krishna that rises in Maharashtra. 
Godavari arises in Nasik district of Maharashtra and Krishna arises in uh, Mahabaleshwar, a spring near Mahabaleshwar in the western ghats. It has several major tributaries, Koina, Tungbhadra and the Bhima. And what were the major tributaries of uh, um, Godavari? It was Pranahita, Penganga and the Indravati. Now, River Krishna drains parts of Maharashtra, Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh. Again, keep the map in front of you and try to map the course of the rivers. It would make your learning much more simpler and easier. Let us move ahead. Uh, another important river is River Kaveri. Kaveri River rises in the Brahmagiri range of the Western Ghat. This range lies in Karnataka. Flowing eastward, it falls into Bay of Bengal near Kaveri Patna, which is in Tamil Nadu. And therefore, it drains parts of Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu. It drains three states, Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu. And on its way to the sea, the rivers like the Kabini, the Bhavani and the Amravati joins it. These are the three major important tributaries of the Kaveri. One important fact related to Kaveri is that since the upper catchment area receives rainfall during the southwest monsoon season means summer season and the lower part during the northeast monsoon season which means during winter the river carries water throughout the year with comparatively less fluctuation than the other peninsular rivers and about 3% of the Kaveri basin falls in Kerala 41% in Karnataka and 56% in Tamil Nadu now let us come to the two west flowing rivers Narmada and Tapi. The Narmada originates on the western flank of the Amarkantak plateau at a height of about 1057 meter and flowing in a rift valley between the Satpura in the south and the Vindyan range in the north it forms a very beautiful gorge in the marble rocks and two other waterfalls near Jabalpur and it flows through a rift valley as we have talked earlier uh, Sardar Savarovar dam is also built on this river the Tapi river is another important westward flowing river it originates from Multai in the Betul district of Madhya Pradesh and nearly 79% of its basin lies in Maharashtra 15% in Madhya Pradesh and the remaining 6% in Gujarat it also flows in a rift valley parallel to the Narmada but it is smaller in length. Another important river system river is Luni which is the largest river system of Rajasthan west of Aravali. It originates near Pushkar in two branches the Saraswati and the Sabarmati which joins with each other at Govindgarh. And from here the rivers come out of Aravali and is known as Luni. It flows towards the west till Tilwada and then takes a southwest direction to join the run of Kutch. The entire river system is ephemeral. This concludes our peninsular river system. In the next video, I will be concluding the series, the videos on the drainage system with uh, um, concluding with the Brahmaputra river system and I will be talking about the differences between the Himalayan river system and the peninsular river system as well as some important um, dams and uh, water disputes between the states. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.